I am communicating with you telepathically to bring you an important message. Boner. Since we're on the same wavelength here, you already know what's going on. We're going to be getting all these marks from rifles done. And to do that, we need to get three kills without dying 10 times with each and every one of them. And if getting gold doesn't take us too long and we decide to go on to the platinum challenge, we need to get 25 long shots with each of them as well. But really quick, let me go through all the builds for the marks from rifles. Here's my Lockwood Mark II. Here's my SPR 208. Here's the EBR 14. This is my LMS. This is my SAB 50. And here's my TAC M. And just in case you're curious, here's the class I'm going to be using for all my weapons today. But let's go ahead, hop in, and try to get these camos done so it has been a journey getting these things leveled up but we finally have the whole class leveled i have every camo but gold on these and these have been some of the most like up and down weapons i've seen in this game like some of them are really fun i think the mark ii is probably one of the most fun it has like a super fast ads speed and it it's kills pretty reliably i haven't been getting too many hit markers with it but you know they show up every now and then oh my aim is awful Oh, that's two already? Damn. But it seems like every weapon in this class is either really fun to use or just awful. And I can't really find an in-between. And that's twice that I was on two kills without dying and then died in the same exact spot. So we got to find some way to persevere here and get all these done. Oh, sit down. Somebody peek. Oh, no way. It's a hit marker. I was just gassing you up, Mark II. Don't give me hit markers now. Oh, shit. Ooh. Come on. There we go. I think that was three kills without dying right there. I could be wrong. Ooh. That, now it's definitely three kills. Ooh. We got the throwing knife there, but couldn't get the kill. I felt like I've struggled getting streaks with these. There's only been like a few times where I, I kind of went like over five kills with these. I feel like if I miss my shot or I hit marker, that's just a death sentence. Like, I really need to be on one with my aim today. I felt like my aim has been pretty inconsistent in this game. I don't know if it's like the net code for it. Or if I'm just washed up now or what? Because it felt like in Modern Warfare 2019 and like Cold War and all that, I had some pretty decent snap aim. Like I felt like I could snipe pretty reliably. In this game, it, it feels like I'm doing the hit a shot challenge every time I'm trying to aim at somebody. Like I've never had a COD game make me feel as trash as this game does. But as long as we got camos to motivate us, we can, we can push through. Get out of here. Anyone else? Who's next? This guy? Where's the rest of you? Come on, we just need one more. One more for a little progress. There we go, baby. Ooh! But regardless of what I've said about, like, the aim and everything, this feels like it has the fastest ADS speed in the game. You guys know I play, like, super rush down, super fast, super, like, brain off sprint, like, kind of, like, play style. And I feel like this ADS speed kind of keeps up with the time to kill in this game. Except for right there when I'm whiffing. But specifically on these marks and rifles, you can get the ADS speed very, very fast. With a lot of the other weapons, it feels like I'm dying before I can even fully ADS at somebody. I think I just need to like hit the flow state and then all these camos are just done. Oh, come on. Not a hit marker. Holy shit. I'm getting dunked on. Damn, that was rough. I felt like I got like zero progress that entire game. Oh, we actually got it four times that game. That's not bad at all. It didn't seem like I got it that many times. Oh, that's a nice double. A triple. Oh, no. Come here. Oh, could have been a quad. Actually, you know what? I think after this game, instead of using quick fix, because that's been my main like ultimate perk for this game, I might try out ghost. I haven't really touched ghost because of the changes to it. Like even if you're you're shooting or whatever, you show up on the mini map, which is kind of dumb in my opinion, but maybe it'll help me flank better because I'm always just trying to flank anyways. I might as well give myself a little bit of an advantage. Ooh. Whoa, he ducked that. He matrixed my throwing knife. What does it look like on his screen? Oh, yeah. He went right under it. Crazy reactions. Oh, do they all have riot shields? What's going on over here? All of them? I'll take a triple, though, because they didn't notice me, and I forgot to switch to ghost. I just now remembered. I'm so glad that you can't you can't change individual perks in this game. You can only pick your, your perk packages. That's such a stupid option. I'm so pissed that they, they changed the actual perk system. Oh, you're lucky. I was about to fuck that riot shield guy. I was jumping right over him. I was going to put him on a poster. Oh, that guy almost got me. That guy almost got me. This might be our game. These guys have no idea what the fuck's going on. They give me a bot lobby. I'll take it. I think there's just like a group of friends walking around all with riot shields just trying to be dickheads. And honestly, you know what? I commend it. But they don't seem very good. They just seem like they're just having a good time. Oh, wait. Weapon challenge completed. Oh, my. We already got this thing gold. This is our lobby. Hold on. Mark II is done. Switching to the SPR. 
Oh, this is great. These guys have no idea. What the? Okay. No, 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 no. I was just kidding. You guys have somewhat of an idea. I was going to say they have no idea what's going on. That guy, fully aware. They can't do anything from down there. <laughs> yeah, they're just laughing, goof around. I like these guys, actually. I'm climbing away, though. Oh, no. Uh-uh. No. No. Oh, I got oh, one of them. Got me. Oh, damn. Nice knife. That's so scary. Two people coming at you with riot shields. Honestly, that seems like a fun time. Like getting all the boys together and dicking around with riot shields. Sounds great. But I'm going to have to throwing knife one of these guys back at some point. I can't let them get away with a freebie. Oh, I got a throwing knife while I was flashed. Eat my dick. Chew on it a little bit. Oh, no. You turn around at the wrong time. You know what? Assassination. Fuck you. Ooh. Okay. I throwing knife the guy as I got throwing knife. They got evened out. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that was <laughs> sick. Got him right in the toes. Another one. Oh, this guy's going to drop 100 kills on us, I think. I could hear him spamming his F button to try to respawn so fast. This guy's eager. Ooh. Oh, he's doing it again. Shit, I'm not going to lie. I do that too, but I do it quietly. Oh, yeah, he might do it. He's at 91. <laughs> he's screaming about it. I honestly can't wait for them to drop shipment. That way I can have like that one 100 kill game and then never have one again. Like I'm almost conflicted on them putting shipment back in because I know I'll be able to get some camos easier. Like when we end up getting the polyatomic and I have to do the double kills with the Joker. And I feel like it'll definitely be easier on there. But at the same time, I don't want the camo process to be too fast. Because what am I going to do once the, the, the camos are done? Like there's still Warzone, there's still DMZ, but I like having progression. Like I like working towards something. I like, I like playing with a purpose. I guess there's like weapon mastery calling cards that I can go for. But those like aren't as cool. You hardly ever see those. But I did see something interesting on Twitter last night after I got done editing my video. I saw Charlie Intel tweet out that uh, Microsoft is planning to bring COD like to Nintendo consoles, meaning like the Switch. And I have no idea how the Switch is going to run Call of Duty. Maybe they're just going to get like a COD mobile port, which would be hilarious. And honestly, probably work really well on the Switch. But if they try to bring like Modern Warfare 2 to the Switch, that shit can hardly even run Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. How is it going to run Call of Duty? But at the same time, put me in lobbies with people on a Switch, please. Like, imagine they add in, like, Joy-Con motion controls and you're playing COD, like, VR, basically. Running at, like, 3 FPS. But imagine, like, Joy-Con aim assist with, with that, those motion controls. is just stupid OP. And you see, like, competitive players playing on a Switch just because of the advantage. Like, what was the last COD to be on a Nintendo console? I know they had a few for, like, the DS... I know there was some on the Wii, but they were like kind of offshoots of Call of Duty. Like when they when they dropped Modern Warfare 2, I think they just put mo the first Modern Warfare on the Wii. Because I know I know my friend Sam and, and Chase used to play Modern Warfare on their Wiis. Like that was the, the only console they had. So I guess it's cool for people that like only have Switches to be able to come and join in on like COD. But no idea how that's going to work, especially with crossplay. They're just going to get dunked on. What? Where did I shoot this guy? If not the mouth. I just Van Gogh his shit and he took it. All right. So that's how it's going to be. I'm about to pop off on him now. Oh, and that's gold. Show me the camo. Rank up. Come on. Let's see it. There we go. Jeez, I thought it was gonna, wasn't going to show up. We're on to the next one. On to the EVR 14. We, we just got done with the two of the best marksman rifles. And now we might be on to one of the worst. To be fair... I don't really know too much about the EBR-14 besides when I leveled it up. It didn't seem too crazy. This is just like a gun you pick up in zombies when you're low on points, but you need to get some kills. But we already got three kills without dying right there, so I guess getting some kills with it? Not that bad. What was that? Did he just turn to block the shot and then get me? I think he did. Holy shit. SPMM is fucking wild. I'm going against people riot shield spin blocking. Dude, like Ninja Turtle wave shine dashed at me. What the fuck is going on? Ooh, eat that though. Papa back shots just got one in the mouth. What I will say though about these marksman rifles, it seems like no matter what, it's like a one shot headshot. 
Maybe not no matter what, because I hit that guy in the fucking ear earlier and it did nothing. But maybe that was spawn protection wearing off. But for the most part, you hit somebody in the head with one of these, they die in one bullet. Oh. There we go. That's three. Oh, add another one to it. Honestly, the EPR is not too bad. Maybe it's just something I got to get used to. I'm not used to just like semi-auto. Oh, shit. Come on, one more. We get double progress in this life. Let's go. Ooh. We can go for triple, actually. Speaking of triple, a little triple kill. And also, I switched up my score streaks today. I am using a VTOL, and I actually get to call one in. Kind of crazy. I was using the VTOL to help level up, because I, I figured if I had my gun out and the VTOL is getting kills, that the XP for that might be going towards my weapons. Don't know if it's true or not. Don't know if it helped, but I had it on. I shot that guy's hands and he squirted. I get one more kill here and I don't die. We have the EBR gold. Okay, I had to say something. Come on, one more, one more. There we go. That should be gold right there. Why did that guy spawn literally right next to me? These spawns are so fucked. But now we're on to the LMS. Now this one's probably got to be my least favorite. I feel like this thing kind of sucks dick. Oh, easy triple. Ooh. Turn into a bloodthirsty. Ooh, and that's six. And that's it. So this thing's like all right at medium to like kind of close range, I guess. Long range after you shoot a few rounds, the recoil is so crazy. It's like not even worth it. You have to like shoot, wait a second, then shoot. You have to like time it. So it has the ability to shoot fast, but you really don't want to unless they're close up. Like take a peek at this recoil right here. I'm going to put my, my thing right here on the middle of his chest, right on the red spot. It just goes like straight up. I guess it feels like way more powerful when I'm in a gunfight and I'm also getting like flinch, but it seems like significantly worse than like the M14. Honestly, even with all the shit I'm talking about this gun, we're kind of flying through this and we've gotten through a few others pretty fast. Marks the rifles are actually pretty fun. Ooh, there we go. Got gold on it now. We're halfway through these, I think. Are we? One, two, three, four. Oh no, we only have two left. So a little more than halfway. We're on to our SAB now. Actually, I said all the all the fun marksman rifles were, were done. That might be a lie. The SAB is pretty good. But I'm not hitting hit markers like that. This thing's ADS is crazy. Check this out. Bam. Bam. Oh shit, there's a guy right there. I, I, I should have actually bammed him. I was just aiming to aim. Oof. Ooh. Oh, eat that. Didn't mean to do that to you, to a fellow Joe, but I had to. Ooh. Fuck off. Bitch. Ooh. Quick little triple. Almost a quad, but I choked. The SAB is pretty fun. Oh, I even stared it down. I knew it was going to land. That was a collat. What the fuck? All right. Well, let's not let that go to waste. Let's get our third kill. We got progress, baby. Almost another collat. Holy shit. Now we just need one more to get even more progress. Oh, hit marker through it. Oh, you bitch. Fuck you. It was Dr. Seaman too. Ooh, eat that, bitch. You have one, too. And you. And you. Holy fuck. Next. Oh, I'm next. Why am I popping off all of a sudden? What the fuck happened? Oh, we got gold. Jeez. That was like the reverse camo curse. I had like two more to go and I just knocked out the craziest clip of my life. Now we got the TAC M. This thing's basically like a single shot scar. But this did do pretty well for me in Warzone. I mean, it killed pretty reliably. But it does shoot kind of slow. Oof. Is that it? Am I done with this gun? Nope. Oh, now we're done with it. Okay. We have all of our marks from rifles done, and now we can start working on long shots. 
So I'm backing out of this game. And I think I've learned my lesson from the last few times. I'm not going to try out shoot house for long shots. I'm just going to hop straight into tier one and try to knock these out. All right, now we have to suffer through getting 25 long shots for all of these marks from rifles. I think I'm going to do what I did a few videos ago and just put something on and try to keep myself sane while I'm doing this. I just hope I can get them knocked out faster this time because these are ridiculous to do. I hate long shots with a passion. And I'm pretty sure I've seen some comments saying that there is an optic that lets you know. Is it the X-10 Angel? Let me try that out. It tells you how far away things are? Oh, it does. Sick. Okay, so I don't even know if that was far enough away. I don't know what the long shot distance is on these, but I feel like it's far since it's a marksman rifle. But these things normally do not kill very reliably, and I'm getting assassinated. That was brutal as hell. Oh, was that a clat? Kind of clean. Did we get any long shots after that game? No way we only got one. What is the long shot distance? That is ridiculous. Actually, you know what? Fuck this. I don't got the patience for the long shots right now, especially if I got one for that whole 20 minute game. The entire game. Uh-uh. That's it for today. I'm gonna get these done tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.